And my name is Marta Tamczyk. Welcome to Breaking Mass, show that brings you the news. You just experienced the newest hype on the internet, the screaming goat. A bit like the Harlem Shake, which went viral in the week before Carnival. As some of you might have seen, Breaking Mass made the first Harlem Shake video in Maastricht. Unfortunately, not everybody liked it. So, some SBU students came up with the idea of bigger, better, faster, stronger. Maybe a bit too late? But let's see our report by Sam Salsa. What's up guys, Maastricht University's very own School of Business and Economics doing the Harlem Shake. Let's go! What's up? Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine, so you're here for the Harlem Shake? Yes, exactly. Did you know that Breaking Mars had a Harlem Shake as well? Who? Since when have you been planning this? Uh, actually, my friend started this and we just invited people, so like a week maybe? Right, yeah. a week? Yeah, More, a week. One and a half. half. One and a half. Yeah. One and a half, okay. <laughs> one and a half weeks, yes. <laughs> what do you make out of the fact that there's been a Harlem Shake in Maastricht before? Um, well, it was actually a good was one. Was it one? Was it a good one? But, I don't think so, right? Uh, not enough people for us. We actually wanted something crazy. Lots of people, lots of stuff, like, in the air and stuff, you know? Did you know that the security guard in it got suspended? Oh, you got no suspended? No way. Well, actually, what? I didn't know that. That shouldn't happen. That's Whoa. sad. Right? Yeah. Get them? You guys had a lot of fun doing the Harlem Shake. Did you know that Breaking Mars had a Harlem Shake as well? No, I didn't. I heard about something in the library, but... Is that breaking mass? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's breaking mass. The video got taken off. It's not on YouTube anymore. Do you know why? Mm, no. 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 The security guard in it, he got suspended. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. What Unfortunate though. That? Well, I, it's hard to, since you're working there, I guess you have to make some kind of decision. So maybe uh, it's fun, but uh, I don't know if it's like 100% legal. Under the title, How Many Slaves Are Working For You, Amnesty International Maastricht organized a lecture on consumer behavior and on slavery. Breaking Mass went to the lecture and had a little one-on-one -on -one interview with one of the speakers, René Gabriels. Did you know that there are worldwide at least 27 million slaves working every day under inhumane conditions and that we are contributing to this injustice through our consumer behavior? So how can we make a difference? Tonight Breaking Mass is going to interview René Gabriels on the socio-economical circumstances that underline slavery. This problem is on a global scale built up on the whole system, so how can a student or an individual person exit from the system in order to, to abolish or to help to abolish uh, slavery? Well, I guess it's nowadays nearly impossible to exit from it uh, because uh, there are very subtle uh, relationships between you as an individual and what is going on socioeconomically worldwide. But nevertheless, you can do something against new slavery, although that you are, the one way or the other, a, a committed to it, is that you, um, first of all, that you can make people conscious about it, because the majority even doesn't know that there is a new kind of slavery. Secondly, we have to change uh, also worldwide the economic rules that induce uh, new slavery. Do you really think or do you really have the hope that slavery can be abolished somehow, someday in the future, or it's uh, more like an uh, utopia? Well, I'm very, op uh, very pessimistic, although that I'm very pessimistic, I have the hope of the hopeless. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, hope is really important here. Well, and if you don't struggle for that, I think then there's something wrong with you or me. And so we have to struggle for a better world. In this world, every day, about 50,000 people die because of uh, poverty. And, and also, indirectly, we're, we are responsible for that. So because we have to, we, I think we have the duty to do something on 
uh, the environmental degradation and on uh, so the, the growing gap between the rich and the poor. Ladies' night in heaven, but can a girl reach heaven being only among ladies? Our experienced hunter Sam went to the Inhimal to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Den Himo, the place to be. It's ladies night, the music is supposed to be off the hook, so let's check it out and see what this place has to offer. So what are your expectations for tonight? I really don't know. I've, ha I've low expectations because I'm from Amsterdam, right? So you'd prefer a bigger proportion of boys? Yes, I do. But I think they like it. It's ladies' night, what are you expecting? One thing they call me slipping. Where are the guys? Come on. When are you gonna dance with us? Believe it or not, but those are actually the first guys that I'm interviewing at ladies' night, so a lot of selection for you. How did you hear about ladies' night? Wow, well, uh, well Tatiana told me about it, so... Who's Tatiana? She is the host of this party. So Tatiana is the host of this party, people. And she's a fine lady, too. And she's a fine lady, yeah. too. Right. So, has there ever been anything like ladies' night since you've been here? Um, yeah, maybe the opposite. If you take the opposite sex, then uh, I think in Allah usually you have like the exact opposite. But uh, here it's uh, pretty amazing. I think it's a good deal. It's a good deal. So we better encourage this concept. You know, it better continue. What do you say about that? Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Thank you, bud. From the 6th until the 13th of March, Rachweek will be held, the annual event all about charity in Maastricht. For more information, check their website, rachweekmaastricht.nl. On Tuesday, 5th of March, UNSA will host their fourth annual charity ball in Den Bombonier. The day after, you can party with a coherent concept in Den Himmel, Deep House, Techno, and the pre-sale tickets in Jules City. That was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>